Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you here. You came to hang out with me. This is awesome. Thanks for being here. It makes me really, really happy. And in return for you being here, I'm going to give you as much value as possible with these six websites that are going to make your life a million times easier. So yeah, I'm kind of like over YouTubers having really long intros. So guys, let's just get into it, okay? Let's jump into my computer. Boom. Okay, guys. So website number one is answer the public. And you always say this, but this is a bomb diggity. I say this about every tool, every app, every website. <laughs> But I promise this is so cool. Um, basically, what it is, it's, it's the answer to the public. It's kind of like a tool that lets you analyze what people are searching for, what their interests are, and you can search specific to your industry. So for today, let's use my friend as an example for some of the tools that I'm going to show you. So this first, um, this first example, my friend is in the fashion industry and thrifting specifically. She kind of advocates for secondhand uh, buying and sustainability through secondhand clothes. And she's a closet stylist. Okay, whatever. <laughs> she's amazing. She's been one of the biggest supporters of this channel. But I just wanted to use her as an example so you can see like how we can apply these tools in like real world scenarios. So answer the public. So let's say that thrifting is like her thing. So we're going to search for thrifting. And then... This is what's gonna, it's what it's gonna give us. Thrifting, and it's gonna give you give us this chart, which is freaking amazing because it's gonna tell you what people are searching for in regards to thrifting or whatever keyword you were searching for. And that will give you ideas for social media, for blog posts, for YouTube videos, for Instagram stories, like just for content creation as a whole. And it's really easy for us when we're in our industry to not really know what people are searching for because everything is just kind of like obvious for us. But like for example, her, in her case, how cheap is thrifting? I bet she never even thinks about it because I mean for her it's like super obvious, she knows, but how cheap is it? Maybe that could be a whole Instagram post. Um, let's see how to go thrifting for clothes, how to start thrifting, maybe if you've never done it before, maybe that can be like a whole video or whatever in itself. And then it, it kind of goes, it stems from here. So how, why, where, when, who, will, which, are, and can, and then what. So what does thrifting refer to? Um, when did thrifting become popular? That, that's kind of cool to research where, where to go thrifting, where to go thrifting in different cities, why thrifting is better. Guys, this can give you so many different ideas for your business. So this website, you just have to be careful because you only get one search a day. So make sure you are like really being strategic with your search. And then uh, the cool thing is that you can also download it as an Excel file. So you can kind of maybe keep track and go back to it later when you're kind of stuck and press for ideas. So yeah guys, hope you liked that one. That was number one. We're going to move over to number two. So number two is Google Trends. And Google Trends is kind of similar to Answer the Public, but it's directly from Google and it gives you a little bit of different uh, stats. So let's just go through the exercise together. So let's say thrifting and it gives you a few different filters. So you can modify the time range. So let's just say thrifting in the past 12 months. So you can see, well, actually we can do maybe like 2004 to present to see how the interest has gone up. So you see, this is a clear rise. So maybe back in the day, 2004, like it wasn't really a thing, but now that sustainability is more of a thing, it's more like a mainstream topic, interest has gone up, and it can also present as a business opportunity. So here you can see, so right now where the geo tag that we have is United States and then it can tell you where the interest is by subregion, Iowa, Arkansas, California, Minnesota, Ohio, that can be pretty interesting. And then this is the cool part because it tells you which are the related queries to Google Trends or to your um, keyword on Google Trends. You can also go to like YouTube search so you can see what people are searching about thrifting on YouTube. So thrifting haul, so that could be a really cool, maybe like a reels that she could just do, like just a thrifting haul showing everything that she got. 
So guys, super, super cool. Hope you like that one. Let's move on to number three. Number three is one of my babies. I freaking love this. It's the Facebook ad library. And I know I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but it's just so freaking cool because it's the archive that Facebook has uh, that, that kind of combines all the brand ads that people are running or brands are running. So let's just keep on topic with my friend who's in fashion and thrifting and everything. So let's just say that one of her competitors is ThreadUp or Stitch Fix, I think is one of the ones that um, does kind of like the online thrifting thing. So let's say that she wants to see Stitch Fix, what kinds of ads they're running, okay? So this is Shopping by Us, that by you. So you can start seeing like what their ads are and you can see their messaging. We're here to help you, love what you wear. So guys, this can be super, super helpful. Um, see, this is a curated selection of looks across a broad price range. So price range is one of their key messages. You can just kind of dissect these in so many different ways, but it's just so helpful to look at your competitors and see what they're doing. It's not cheating, right? It's just totally legal. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I hope you liked uh, website number four. It was the Facebook ads library. I won't go too much into detail because I do have other videos dedicated to that. I can link them at the end. But yeah, love, love, love this. Let's move on to number five. Okay, number five is Pexels. So Pexels is just a website where you can download kind of like copyright free images. And I know a lot of people get super caught up on that, especially like starting their businesses, like, oh my gosh, I, I have to get a photo shoot done uh, just for my website because I can't use other people's pictures. And that's really not true. There's like these uh, websites like Pexels that you can download people's pictures. You can give them, um, or you should give them credit somewhere in your website or an overlay of the picture. but. I searched here for fashion just so we stay on topic with my friend. So let's just say that she was looking for something, um, maybe like an image for a blog post or a Pinterest post or just something that she needed. And it's super easy. You literally just come here, click on download, and then it starts downloading. And then you can you can donate to the creator or you can search for them on Instagram if maybe you're gonna post about like the that picture on Instagram, maybe you can tag them. Um, which would be really nice, obviously, for the creator. But, I mean, super, super useful. Just a quick tip here. And the pictures are honestly amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Anyways, now we're going to our next website, which is DaFont. Well, I don't know if it's D-A font or DaFont. DaFont just sounds cooler, right? <laughs> And what DaFont is, it's just a website where you can download different uh, fonts, of course. So I think that's super, super cool because if maybe you're designing your own logo, if you're DIYing it, or if you're designing maybe a presentation, that could also be really cool. So you honestly just come here, like this one is really pretty. I've actually designed tattoos for people with this website. <laughs> So here, I'm not a graphic designer or anything, but I was like, oh, I know where we can get really cool um, fonts. <laughs> so yeah, you come here, you just click download, and then if, if you have a Mac, it's really simple. I don't know how to do it on, on uh, a PC, but I'm sure it's just a quick Google search. Oh my gosh, guys, you like my, my vision board? I made a whole YouTube video about how to create this digital vision board, so go watch that. Isn't it cute? I'm obsessed with it. Okay, anyway, so it downloads and then you click here, install font, starts installing, and ta-da! You can start using it anywhere, like on PowerPoint, you can, I think, upload it to Canva if you have a premium account. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of things with that. So I just thought that was cool. There's a million, literally a million. So that was DeFont for you. And then... Our last website is Google Passwords. So this is just a simple one, but it's one that not a lot of people know about. And every time I log on to my Google Passwords, everyone's like, wait, what? So yeah, Google Passwords is just kind of part of the Google umbrella, Google suite of apps. And basically, you can just save all your passwords here. I hope this doesn't show any of my passwords, but <laughs> this just saves all of them and then 
when you when you go on Google Chrome and you click like save this password, it automatically saves it here. But if if you ever need to access them, like let's say I forget my I forgot my Facebook um password, I can just go here and it'll have it saved for me. I forget my Facebook password all the time for some reason, for some reason. Uh, my Amazon, Apple, Amex. So yeah, this is just really cool. Maybe something that will help you keep you organized. Okay guys, that is it for today, but I have so many other tools, websites, and just plain magic here in store for you. So if you like this video, please, please, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, whatever you want, but just let me know that you're watching these, that you are getting value out of them. This YouTube channel is just getting started, so literally my, my videos have like 20 average views. But I keep showing up because I go by the Eminem theory, and that's if I can help just one person, just one person in the world, then my mission is accomplished. Thank you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'm sending all my love your way.